More than 100 chronically homeless people in Redmond will soon move into supportive housing. It's a King County project and there's been pushback against it for years. Camos Jackie Kent shows us what residents and neighbors can expect. The former Silver Cloud Inn is nearly moving ready to serve Redmond's chronically homeless population. And have a disability such as, um, you know, substance use disorder, a mental health, behavioral health challenge or another disability. In addition to filling the 100 rooms, King County's latest supportive housing project will offer 24-7 behavioral health services and three daily meals until residents move to permanent housing. It will start off slowly um, to provide the right structure and support that those individuals need to be successful. It was a long road to get to the county's big opening announcement. And there's people living in Neighbor Khan Chu and dozens of others initially protested the project when the county first bought the hotel in 2021. You moved forward with this purchase with no comment and you chose to ignore the impact on our community. He claimed the city and county did not get enough public input on neighbors' concerns surrounding the potential for this space to attract crime and drugs. We wish this to be a success story and then um, set a good, good example for the rest of the project of the city operates. Issues we took to the incoming provider, the Salvation Army. As with any public building, drugs will not be permitted. Drug use will not be permitted in the building. Safety individuals will be here to make sure that it remains safe and welcoming for both those who are living here as well as those within the community. Now Chu says he is cautiously optimistic about the Salvation Army's work, but it will be a wait and see about community impacts. We still need to watch and see how, how it's enforced how it's been panning out. Reporting in Redmond, Jackie Kent, Come On News. Since the first health or housing property opened in 2021, the county reports that 96% of people have stayed in their housing or moved into permanent housing. The county has secured nearly 1,300 units across 15 locations in Auburn, Federal Way, Renton, Seattle, Redmond, and Kirkland. The Kirkland Hotel is the next project set to open this spring. Stay with Camo for continuing coverage on the homelessness and addiction crisis through our Project Seattle reports. If you have a tip or story idea, call the number on your screen. You can also email projectseattle at comonews.com.